theater has been very slow in incorporating technology. It's, and and it's, the theater has been especially bad in allowing technology to make you feel closer to the performers on stage. So with this opera, what I wanted to do is use technology to make it, to make the audience feel closer to the performers, closer to the human beings, and the opposite of that is to enhance the presence of the human beings on stage. The opera takes place sometime in the future when there are no more human beings. We don't know why there are no more human beings, where they've went, but all that are left are these robots. And not only that, the robots have been left with a text, it's a kind of mystery play, a text left by the humans that not only is about human subjects, life and death, uh, relationships that the robots don't understand, but it's explicitly been left by the humans so that the robots can understand little by little what it means to be human. One very unusual thing about this opera is that physical objects help to tell the story rather than just the human beings and rather than just uh, electronics. And these physical objects are beautiful in themselves and they're also an extension of a human being. In fact, Simon Powers, our main character, the whole idea is that he wants to live forever. He leaves the stage, he downloads himself into his environment, and you feel that these objects, the robots, the furniture, a gigantic musical chandelier, the walls themselves, take on his characteristics. And this physical world uh, is beautiful to watch, but it also becomes deeply connected to a human being. This is something we've never seen on stage before.